seven points from a possible nine had lifted Angers into 12th of three places from this time last month. They welcome Patrick Vieira's niece to the Loire, the Zeglon, who'd only lost one of their last six, but who would be without the flair of Alain Saint-Maxima, injured on the morning of the game. Goals a problem, however, for the former Arsenal man's team. Only 19 strikes in their opening 24 games. It was the visitors, however, who started on the front foot. Christophe Jallet almost getting the opening goal, but a good save from Butel in the Angers goal to nine. The former Lyon man. Good work on the left flank. And Jallet with a snapshot, which didn't really trouble Butel too much. Nice still coming forward. This time Ganigo trying to round the defence and forcing Butel into another parry at his front post. Things unfurled from there for Nice. Jallet who'd had that opening chance, fouling Fulgini. And an opportunity for Balken to convert the spot kick. Easily done by the Angers striker. 1-0 for the home side with a calm and composed penalty. The score would remain there at half-time. Stefan Moulin's team frankly dominated in the opening 45 minutes. Patrick Vieira looking on as his team unravelled in the second half. Just two minutes after the restart, Fulgini, who had won the penalty, blasting in the cross and making it 2-0 for the home side. A brilliant piece of play from Angers, who caught Denise cold at the start of the second half. And then in the 92nd minute, captain Traore showing strength and then agility and precision with a brilliant cross to the back post, turned in by Christian Lopez. A brilliant goal right at the end of the match to finish an emphatic afternoon for Stefan Muna's team and a terrible one for Patrick Vieira. Angers record a huge win in their bid for survival, the second half masterclass performance. Nice's attacking troubles continue with another blank, their 10th of the season.